From the polls to the campaign trail, you'll likely notice more campaign volunteers hitting the streets in the next few days. The Biden team is finally giving them the go-ahead to start knocking in key states. Well, it's something the Trump campaign has been doing throughout the pandemic. Our Joe St. George goes along with volunteers for a closer look tonight. You know, we don't know how they're voting and we want to find out. We are taking you on a walk. Hey there, how are you? With 19-year-old Parker Maddock as she knocks on doors in the crucial swing state of Michigan. We are knocking right now the people that we are not sure of. What Parker is doing. We're just out canvassing for the president's campaign. Is what top Republicans are hoping makes a difference come election night. Believing face-to-face -face conversations, even though it's through a mask, matters. And that little reminders on your door helps too. I'm putting the literature on the door because they did not answer. In a normal election year, both Democrats and Republicans would swarm at neighborhoods like this to try and get out the vote. But in a pandemic, out of an abundance of caution, the Democrats have shut down their door knocking operations. That is until this past weekend when for the first time Democratic nominee Joe Biden gave the green light to let his supporters start knocking on doors. Up until this point, President Donald Trump's campaign has been knocking on one million plus doors per week. Joe Biden's campaign, zero. I think it's a little dangerous at this time. Just last week in Detroit, top Biden Michigan volunteer Delise Horton Willis told us it was still a bit too risky since we're in the middle of a pandemic, saying up until this point, She's been mostly phone banking instead. I phone bank on Thursdays. You know, I can't do a lot, but I realize that if everybody do a little, we're good. Biden's campaign says strict safety measures will be followed, and the first states to see Democrats on their doorstep will be Nevada, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. We average around 100 an hour. Back with the Trump campaign, they're going to have to get used to some friendly competition. Have a great day, okay? In neighborhoods like this. Every time you talk to a voter, they're actually 6% more likely to vote for your candidate. In Livonia, Michigan, I'm Joe St. George.